thank you for including me in Ohio's Energy Future Tour. Here in Northwest Ohio, we are proud of our historic contributions to restoring America's energy independence and achieving clean energy development nationally and globally. As one example, First Solar, a leading photovoltaic manufacturer, traces its origins to research, engineering, and design work done by its founders in Northwest Ohio. The Andersons' pioneering efforts in ethanol production have allowed biofuels to enter our transportation fuel supply. Investing in energy innovation has contributed to the success of many companies like First Solar and Nextronics and Owens Corning. On-site energy generation, infrastructure investments, and weatherization improvements make buildings more efficient and energy independent. They lower costs and create opportunity for business growth and job creation. Efficient energy systems build a foundation for America's long-term global competitiveness. Energy jobs create a brighter future for America's workers and American manufacturing. Northern Ohio is at the hub of America's energy future. For example, Better Buildings of Northwest Ohio in an exemplary energy program under the Toledo-Lucas County Port Authority. This initiative is a model for public-private partnerships in energy efficiency, renewable technologies, and financing support for energy upgrades. Last week, as we celebrated Earth Day, I joined environmental and community leaders at the Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge to inaugurate the first electric car station ever installed in America's national refuge system. The Ottawa Refuge is a tremendous coastal treasure and an active learning laboratory for visitors, but it is also proving to be an important leader for integrating alternative energy en uh, generation into existing infrastructure and economy. The Ottawa Refuge uses a combination of on-site energy sources, including an 81 kilowatt solar field and a geothermal system to reduce its energy costs by 60%. The new electric car charging station is exclusively solar powered, but is one of 400 across Ohio and 9,000 nationally. Its location is also strategically important. It is the only public charging station between Toledo and Lorain, Ohio on Lake Erie's coast. America's energy future depends on this kind of investment. As ranking member of the Energy and Water Committee in the Congress, I've had the chance to see innovative technologies and forward thinking energy policies that are moving America to a new energy future. Despite some policy setbacks at the state level for Ohio's alternative energy portfolio, we are optimistic about our clean energy future. You can't stop progress. Our national security, resource stewardship, and simple American ingenuity continue to propel us forward to the clean energy future economy of tomorrow. Thank you for being part of this movement. I salute you and the more than 25,000 Ohioans who are employed in the growing advanced energy sector. Let's commit ourselves to America's energy independence and good stewardship as we build forward Ohio's new energy future. Thank you.